do we fight well, Jamie Lee Curtis is reprising her role in the Halloween franchise. The film Halloween Kills is hitting theaters tonight. And one local high school graduate is playing a role in the promotion of the film. Yeah, he is also featured in a television series and he'll soon appear on a popular streaming service. TTV's Ryan Somerville has the actor's journey to Hollywood all new at six. Before he ever took direction on set under the lights, Mark Murtha took direction here. Oh yes, oh yes, my, my humble beginnings. <laughs> At Pickerington High School North, where an interest turned to a hobby, where a hobby. I was always interested in acting since a very young age. Turned I, uh, to a career. He was in seventh grade when he gave theater a go, one of the first to take a new class. So I took that class and <laughs> I didn't even know Mr. DiCarlo was going to be my teacher. This like is his said, first mention DiCarlo of Mr. DiCarlo. It won't be the last. He did 10 plays at North. After graduating in 2016, that's when passion turned to purpose. Mirtha auditioned and got the role of Gomez, the lead in a play production of The Adams Family in Newark. Two years after that, he was hired on at Shadowbox in Columbus, doing sketch comedy and rock and roll tribute shows. He appeared in the CW's Legacies, and he can't really talk about it, but next year, you can see him on screen for a major production in a Netflix original series. It was just a matter of me taking these baby steps, and it all led me to this, this crazy Halloween Kills promotion. This is the TikTok video he submitted, showing his love for Halloween and Michael Myers that eventually led. It didn't hit me until after I had met Jamie Lee Curtis. To this, just last week, while shooting promotional videos for Halloween Kills, meeting Scream Queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Mike Myers himself. All of it, Mirtha says. This, I, I owe a lot to, to Alan. Owed to Alan DiCarlo. There's that name again. A teacher in Pickerington. Oh, 11 long years. <laughs> for more than a decade. He was Mirtha's first theater teacher. Their friendship, though, started even further back when DiCarlo was Mirtha's babysitter. Now, Mirtha's passion. That's why I do what I do. DiCarlo's purpose. It is the greatest joy ever. It really is. It really is. He downplays his own significance, saying he supports, values, and appreciates every student's worth. No more. Of Mirtha, as you might imagine, he is proud but mark it, it has never said no and he's always been the same person since the day he's walked in and now he's walking out under the we'll sound stage lights yes. pursuing his we'll dream a dream that he hopes others uh, can live too that all started right here stick to it uh it's going to be very very tough you're going to get rejected more than anything else so you've got to, you've got to take that criticism and give it a positive twist, just like Alan has taught us in this classroom. With photojournalist Nikki Thacker, Bryant Somerville, TID TV News. Very 